G'day, I'm Chris from Stony Creek Campers and welcome to another episode in our How To Series. Today we're going to be talking about the setup for the SCFF Camper Trailer. I'll run you through all the steps that you need to do to set it up and um, basically we'll touch base on a couple of questions here and there that I get asked quite often. Alright, so first thing we're going to do, we've levelled the trailer, we know that it's secure, we've chocked it front and rear and the handbrake's on. So now we can safely open up the camper, we'll go around and we'll release the clips, there's two on each side and also two on the rear. So I'll do that now. Once we release the clips, you'll see it will want to naturally sit up on a little bit of an angle this so it's just the gas struts it's going to sit there that's that's how it sits so from here you've got two choices in the way you want to open it up you can hand winch it by running the front winch cable out and hooking it onto the eyelet on the rear corner or you can push it over personally I like to push it over I find it much quicker and it's not that heavy unless you've added extra bedding or a larger mattress so I'll do that now I'll demonstrate pushing it over At this point it will come down, it won't slam, it'll just come down and sit where it needs to sit with those gas struts. So now we've pushed the bed over, you can see it's sitting here on the gas struts, once again it's on a bit of an angle, that's where it's happy, that's where those struts are holding it. So to pull it down onto these bump stops under here so that when you hop on and off the bed it doesn't bounce or donk or anything like that, we'll now release the front hand winch to pull it down. So we'll put that through the eyelet and we'll just give that a couple of cranks down until it's sitting firmly on the bump stops. Just like that. From here I guess the next step we're going to do, we're going to pull the canvas around on the front edge. All right, now that we've flipped the front over and we've wound it down onto the bump stops, the next step is to open the door to gain entry into the camper and extend the poles. So we just use the main key on that one. The, the basically two entry keys, they're just a triangle fit in that will undo these latches here. But just as another point of interest, they're also a bottle opener. A lot of people don't realize that, so handy little key. I'll just pop them here for now. So your step just unfolds, just like so. Drop it down to the floor. Alright, I'll go in now and I'll extend these poles. Alright, so now we're inside the camper, I'll just demonstrate from inside how to extend the poles. So we're doing the rear two over the couch. So there's a little clamp here, we pull that clamp open, that will release the pole and allow it to slide. So we'll do that on both sides. The trick is here to try and push them evenly. So either do a little bit at a time so that you're not overextending one side to the other and twisting it and jamming the pole or it can be a two-person job where one pushes it out the other person latches it in i myself i've got a pretty good arm span so i'll just go a little bit at a time on each side so we'll do that now then you can lock it in and then do the other side lock it in go back over to this side lock it in that's all there is to it. So they're a very quick and easy clamp. You do that to the front bed, the centre and the rear couch. Now that we've got the rough structure set up, we can go around and we can adjust the canvas, make sure everything's sitting where it needs to sit. At this point in time you can probably see we've got quite a large gap here at the front. So that means that the poles aren't adjusted at the right position. So what I like to do here is I like to back the poles off a little bit, make sure we can adjust these zips to suit and then we'll go ahead and we'll redo them at that point. So. So 
So that door zips all the way down. We can go inside and we can adjust this corner here a little bit more to get some of the canvas a bit tighter. But we know the canvas is sitting where it needs to sit. Everything's doing up, everything's aligned. So I'm happy with that. I'll just go inside now and adjust those poles to the final position and then it's good to go. Double check fitment of the door once again. And that's it, the basic part of the tent is now set up. So if it's a quick overnighter or you've arrived late, that is enough for you to sleep inside comfortably and you can finish it off in the morning. Thanks for watching that video on how to set up the SCFF. Hopefully we've run through enough in detail that you've learned a few tips and tricks and it'll help you along your journeys. Thank you.